Hi everybody and welcome to this weekend round guide video for the Pro Division in Escape to the Sun tournament. Before we look at the replays, please do hit thumbs up on the channel, make sure you are subscribed as well. Although this is my last tournament for actual Pro Text Guides, there will still be lots of Pro Division content on the channel for main tournaments going forward. So please do hit the bell button to get notified when we upload new content. Good luck and here we go. Okay, we have a nice tailwind on hole one. Of course, if you do want to try and blast it, you can, but for me, I much prefer laying up and going for the thorn second shot. Uh, just under six top spin, three bars side spin to the right. Leave yourself room before the rough for your first bounce due to tailwind. And we're gonna aim at the rocks in the distance. Max plus 20, power two settings. We are using a katana. If you don't have extra mile eight plus or apocalypse three plus, then you can use the big topper instead. Make sure you look at the position of the second bounce with your spins added, um, just to check you've got everything else correct, even if you're using a different accuracy club. Uh, outer wall curl to the right, and we're looking to get this one around 350 yards. Second shot, gonna check distance here with a fringe check where the fringe meets the green. Plus two here, and my suggestion here based on the lip out that we get in the video is to go 66% slider, 10% elevation. You can use drive distance if you want to, if you don't want to do fringe check, if that isn't possible, but a fringe check is the most accurate reference that we can have here. One and a half backspin, aim at the pin, but ball guide just short of cup, especially with thorn eight and nine, otherwise you will come in too hot, even shorter with obviously thorn seven or lower. So 66 slider, 10% elevation based on this very unfortunate lip out here. Perfect ball away, pulling over the bullseye. We think we're going to drop it, but very unlucky just to catch the right edge and take a 180 out on hole number one. Hole number two, we do have a hole in one here. Recommend to keep the wind below 6.6 .6 miles per hour. Just over five backspin, about 5.1 and just over one and a half right spin. So 5.1 backspin, 1.6 right spin. Blue ring touching the rough, and just look where the ball guide is there. It seemed to be long there to the right, but then you move it a click to the left and it is a shorter ball guide. Second bounce just before the fringe. So find your position carefully. It is a tough one to find, but very important to do so. Adjustment max plus 30. Max plus 30 on this one and use power two settings, even if you don't use a Kingmaker. Uh, if you get low wind with a Kingmaker, then you can use a Katana instead. So power two numbers, then we are gonna hit this one perfect, and we drop it beautifully for a lovely hole in one. Tough par three though here, so a drop here is a real bonus. Hole number three, we have crosswind, so go with a Katana. Gonna show you a shot which can be done with extra mile six plus. Four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the right. Setting up here with extra mile eight at the top of plus 10. Extra mile six and seven will be at the top of plus 12. Obviously, if you want to use a more accurate driver, you can set up with your extra mile and then switch to a bag with Thor's hammer or apocalypse, up to you. Uh, max plus 20 is the adjustment here, even though we're not at max distance of our club and then going with um, half wall curl to the right. So right edge of the ball, halfway into the wall of the adjustment ring on the right. Important to get a perfect ball here, especially with extra mile. Um, great left does risk going into the rough due to the wind direction also pushing us left. Drive distance here, we want around 360 yards. Going for a bounce over with the second shot, start with three and a half back spin, one left spin. And then find your position here with a consistent landing spot and the ball guide pointing at the pin but stopping about two green squares short of the cup. Then I'm adapting my side spin to put an offset in here. I change to 0.3 left spin because we've got strong wind here. It is going to push us quite a bit to the left. Plus seven yards on the landing spot is going to be exactly in between mid and max plus 20 elevation. So 75% slider. 20 elevation. Check the Academy playlist for more on plus yard references and using the slider. Really good way of dialing in your adjustments. Perfect ball away here. We do come in nicely, just missing to the left. So maybe a tweak to the side spin 
will drop that beautifully for Albatross. Hole four, we do have predominantly tailwind, so it's going to be the Grizzly. One bar of top spin, and then we're going to aim with the ball guide just pointing to the left edge of the cup. The tip of the ball guide, you will see when I zoom in, is along the edge of those dark green square columns. So one bar of top spin. Then we're going max plus 20 power one settings. If you get high wind, I would switch to a Kingmaker, try and keep the wind below 6.6. .6. Grizzly 8 numbers I would suggest using regardless of the level of your Grizzly because we are not at max distance of club but I am using max numbers. So max plus 20 on this one can have a very very good chance of hole in one. Perfect ball away and it's tracking nicely and we drop it right at pin for a lovely hole in one on hole 4. Eagle coming up now on hole 5. Going to use the rock and a Titan. Half of the red ring inside the rough on the right. Plus eight yard, uh, sorry, plus ten yards with the rock level eight, max distance with the rock level seven, plus nine with the rock level nine. Three point eight top spin, two bars side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust max distance, twenty percent elevation, and once we've done that, we are going to take our shot with half a ball of curl to the right. Using the rock here because a great left, great right, it's still going to be safe. Perfect ball, and we want a drive distance of around 370 yards on this one. Doesn't matter if you're a couple of yards shorter or longer, because next shot we're going to play from the complete minimum distance line. So pack the Grizzly in order to find the complete min very easily with the Sniper. Blue ring touching the rough on the left at min. Then we're going to add spins to get the ball guide just through the hole. And you'll see when I zoom in here, it is favouring the left side of the cup just gradually. So just favouring left side of cup. Adjustment here, I play min plus zero, power three. But we do drop it right side, so I would suggest to get an extra decimal. You go min plus five, power one settings. Just gives you an extra 0.1, uh, which I do believe will drop this one right at the pin, which is obviously what we do want to try and do. So min plus 5, power 1 would be my suggestion here. The spins you need will vary depending on your position. And here we go with hole 6. Very nice tailwind on this one. And we're going to go with the driver with 6 bars of top spin, but you could use extra mile 6 or 7 in which case you would need to apply a little bit of overpower to gain some distance. So six top spin, one bar side spin to the left, add your spin and start at max point down the middle of the fairway. Once we've found our position, we're going to adjust max plus 10. And once that is done, we're going to then spin the camera around and pull back up to max distance of our club, regardless of uh, club level, we're going back up to max. Then we're going to take our shot. No overpower with an extra mile 8 plus or apocalypse 5 plus, but uh, anything lower than those levels, I would give it one ring of overpower, especially with extra mile 6 or 7, to make up for the lack of top spin. We want to get this one around uh, 395 to 400 yards because we are going to play aggressive with a rough bump. If you are not in range for the rough bump, then simply play a bounce over shot instead to secure the eagle. But if you can get for the rough bump, go for it. Between four and four and a half top spin. Here I'm aiming at the pin, ball guide stopping two green squares short. However, I would just tweak the position slightly here. We do miss left. So I would be uh, tempted really to aim a click to the right. Then we're gonna use our plus yards. Plus two yards is 65% slider, zero elevation. And I do recommend, as I do here, you need a flicker of 11.59 on your pull. If you do not get the 11.59 right here, you may miss the rough. So make sure you use some 11.59. Perfect ball away, and you will see we do catch the rough nicely here. And we are getting good speed, but just missing to the left. But a very, very close attempt for the Albatross. Thank you for watching and good luck.